everyone, welcome back to the B-Side. Brad here. We're going to be playing around tonight with a little bit more of a relaxed sculpt in a, in a sense, um, and, and not so relaxed in another sense. We're going to be kind of doing a little bit of exploratory stuff tonight, as opposed to uh, in the past few streams, the past few weeks, you've been kind of doing um, pre-existing characters. Try to, I try to put my own spin on them, obviously, with um, the Eraser and, and Face Pot Pete and Jack of Hearts and so forth. But, you know, they've, they've all been based on pre-existing um, pre concepts and so forth. And, I think you know you do that enough you start to kind of feel a little bit like you're not coming up with your own ideas even though i, I tried to kind of like take pre-existing things and put my own little spin on them the fact is in all that time i still had that kind of convenient fallback position of the existing concept right so um what i want to kind of you know try with, with this is, is to kind of do something which i think kind of everyone should do semi-regularly which is kind of force yourself to instead of working from a concept work to one you know um, and just to kind of see where you can go, because sometimes it's, it's, it's instructive just to kind of make problems for yourself that you have to solve formal, you know, in terms of like the structure and form and so forth. So, you know, again, these might, these might not always work out awesome. Um, they might end up being incredibly average, but, you know, I think it's more the process that's useful sometimes than the actual result. Um, Jamie, thank you so much for coming by. Andrew, nice to see you. Ram, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for hanging out. Again, like I said, this is going to be kind of an exploratory one where you kind of take a spear and just kind of see where I can go with it. Uh, I have no delusions that it's going to be necessarily high art when we're done. But like I said, I think this is sometimes from a creative standpoint, you need to kind of force yourself to work outside of the comfort zone of a pre-existing form that you have in mind, right? So that's what I want to do. I want to kind of just take this and just go with it. I don't really have any ideas specifically in mind. I kind of just want to start pushing clay around. I'm guessing this is going to be a creature of some sort because it's easier to make creatures because you're not really constrained by, you know, anatomical stuff in the same way you might be if you're doing a person but we'll see i just want to kind of play around a little bit so let's jump in here um and let's get into the brush or z brush as we say so again this is the dynamic 64 right this is a regular old dynamic 64 sphere and i'm going to start kind of just playing around with pushing some shapes around like i said i'm thinking creaturey just because again i've been doing lots of people recently with these with the, the the slight deviation of a guy wearing a giant pencil on his head Still human though, he was well dressed. So this is gonna be probably just more of a bust. Again, I just wanna I just wanna see where we can go with this, right? Jamie, we're not gonna use the F word here. We're not gonna use fiber mesh. We're not gonna, we're not gonna talk. maybe I will. Maybe I'll, I might give him a little might put a little bit of hair here. But fur, oh god, you don't want to hear me swear that much uh on a on a stream. This is the family show after all. Um so again, what I want to do, first thing I want to do is turn off perspective. Um, because it's it's it drives me nuts. And again, I want to kind of like the, the the only thing I know coming in is that I want this to I want this to feel stupid stupid thing to say I want this to feel dumb I want the, I want whatever creature I make to feel like it's not necessarily brainy and the, the way the way I'm going to try and do that is I'm going to try and flatten the head so I I have an idea in my mind of something with a very flat almost triangular head with maybe a big lower jaw to me that's just a fun fun thing to play with and I don't know how it's going to go. Which is right. So again, regular old sphere here, just gonna be using the move brush and my move tool really just to kind of block out some shapes. So I'm gonna kind of like narrow this in a little bit here, going to go to flatten and already just kind of start by making this very, very um exaggerated, kind of force myself, like I said, out of that little comfort zone. And I'm just gonna start with a couple of deformers here just to again, just to make some larger scale changes to this, so I can kind of like just start feeling like okay i kind of i already don't know how i'm gonna get out of this like i said this is kind of one of those things where i i like the idea at least in theory of giving yourself problems that you need to solve um you know by kind of putting yourself in a position where you don't know where you're headed jojo boss thank you so much for coming by how you doing man um and this is kind of again this is this is my version of that i mean i'm even going to go here um with paper i'm going to go here even a little bit more i suppose it's going to be a little bit more um a little bit more like this and in my mind again this is going to be like the lower jaw so i'm just going to kind of just start like i i i'm going to pull out a copy of this and swap it out for a sphere um and just start essentially building what could be a head shape and then i'm just going to see what happens from there okay so this is going to be this i'm going to go move infinite depth i think i have symmetry on i don't i should probably have it on luckily i haven't been sculpting yet so it doesn't really matter but I want to kind of again i want to just think about just i want a shape that i like and that i can kind of play around with jamie let's not let's, let's not start let's not see now you got me thinking that and i did say creature so i guess that makes some sense 
Um, so I'm going to hold down uh, control and pull this down, make another sphere out of this. Um, and I'm going to make this the lower jaw. Like I said, I, kinda, I, I want this to feel stupid. And it's stupid, not in the, not in the, in the sense that it, it, you know, it looks more like a brutish thing, but not not strong, just dumb. So I'm going to kind of start with, for me, the thing that makes it look kind of goofy and dumb typically is an underbite. So I'm going to go with an underbite, at least when it comes to creatures. Um, I'm going to kind of bring, I'm going to bring this down like this. So I want this part here to have a little bit of opening. I'm going to be using Dynamesh here. So I just want there to be an opening at first so that when I Dynamesh it, it doesn't close it up, right? Um, and then I was going to uh, start with this. So let's kind of invert this. Let's kind of bring this this down a little bit here. Um, I'm just going to uh, just do a little bit of a shapey thing here. And again, I, this is, I don't, why? It's how symmetry turned off. I turned symmetry on, who knows? Um, but I want this to be kind of ridiculous at first. And then I want to kind of like see where I can go with this here. So I'm going to come here and drag out a copy of this, pop it out for another sphere. Like I said, the one thing I, I thought of, uh, for some reason, I just think it'd be funny if you guys kind of like a big, almost like a, um, like a big pouch here. It's going to kind of like, you know, look at that. I don't know, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to make this wider, make this like this. And then this is the neck. So I'm just going to kind of push this back a little bit. Move that out a little bit here and come like that. Okay, so this is my thinking is something like this. And now I'm going to do something really, really actually, you know, so let me just um, make sure, like I said, I want to make sure that there's a little opening here so that I can have them separated just for the sake of, um, of being able to kind of sculpt inside if I want to, or at the very least adjust things. Okay, and now I'm going to do something stupid. Whenever I want to kind of force myself out of a comfort zone, I go to an insert mesh brush and insert something that makes no sense and then try and make it work. So I'm going to insert spaceship and I want to try and find something that I can just insert, just to kind of insert some random shape, which I don't really you know exactly know what I want to do with. Um, I mean, you don't need to use Insert Spaceship, but I'm going to try to use Insert Spaceship here. I'm going to just find something that's a little bit weird. And just bring this in here. And again, this is going to be Dynamesh, so it doesn't really matter exactly how it looks right now. It's just going to be something to kind of play around with the, uh, the silhouette a little bit. Go back to my move brush here. And it's kind of like mess around with this so again this is this is a way this is a way of me trying to make this as ridiculously nonsensical as possible um i'm gonna go get my inflate brush and just a little bit all right so now we have this and now i'm going to, i might need to increase my resolution a tiny bit here i'm going to dynamesh this together it's way too much so turn this down all right let's move that part out Okay, so now <laughs> you can see this is not symmetrical. So I'm going to do a quick little mirror and weld here. And then, uh, again. so yeah, and again, it's got some, it got, it's got some little alien things happening here, which I don't know that I love, which is again, kind of the part of the point here. So I'm going to go to something like move elastic or snake hook and kind of adjust this a little bit. And again, maybe this is going to be something ear-ish. I don't know. Um, but like I said, it's going to start. It's going to look. It's going to look stupid for a while, and, I'm, I'm, and it might look stupid when it's done. But it might not. It's, that's the kind of the, the kind of the fun part here. It's just to kind of see where we end up here. All right. So let's come in here and start thinking about what's going to happen where. Right. So I'm going to get my move brush here and kind of pull this part up. But you see again, like this is not a normal, it's, 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 it's not a crazy silhouette, but it's something I probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So I inserted some random shape, which when Dynamesh kind of forces me into a, uh, into a, into a, into an approach that, you know, I was not prepared for. So that to me is kind of cool. 
And I'm going to kind of like now bring this whole thing back. Let's go to my mask lasso and move this whole thing forward a little bit. Okay. So now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right back to my trusty insert spaceship and insert a couple more things. These aren't anything big. These are, these are just these are just shapes, but that's okay. This is going to be. I'm going to break. Use this as a starting point to kind of like start a brow. And again, I I am fully aware of how dumb this looks right now, and I'm okay with it um, because I think when all said and done, um, it'll look like something. It won't look like what it looks like right now, hopefully, but. Um, that's okay. So I'm going to come in here now, and because this has been uh, dynamic separately, I can just kind of mess with this now and not think very too much about um, losing the uh, thing. I'm going to actually turn dynamic off at this point. Um, and now I can probably go ahead and bring up this lower jaw. This is this is what I often do when I'm. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with something. I was like, I'll just think like so. I put myself in a situation where it, I'm just I have no idea where I'm going, and then I have to kind of find a way out. And that's um, I don't know. Sometimes it's pretty cool. I'm not loving these these these, these ear things here, to be honest. But that's okay. Let's come in here and start with the idea of where the nose is. here uh, see if I can just make them more angular here thinking that this could be kind of a cool almost almost like a mini dragon wing thing happening here Turn this part down a little bit here you can see here it's got some of these little little guys here and I think I have an idea of how I'm going to deal with that so what I first want to do, again, like I said, my, I said in the beginning when I was thinking of something stupid, oh, geez, don't do that. Oh, I was supposed to, I need to hit the S key, go down for God's sake. Um, what I wanted to do is think of something stupid, right? Now I'm going to go here and just scale this whole thing down because it's too big. Um, and stupid in the sense that uh, I wanted it to have a, like the personality was one that was not, was not going to, uh, you know, build fear. Just wondering why I keep losing symmetry, even though I don't think I'm hitting the X key. Okay. So, if I lose symmetry, it's not because. Uh, okay. So this is my idea here. Big old, big old jaw here. I mean, big old bulgy thing here. All right. And. All right. So. Here's a standard shape that I'm going to kind of start with. And right away, at this point, even though I'm not done, I'm just going to remesh it just because I hate Dynamesh. Like, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate, I love what it can do, but I hate how the, I hate the, the, the uh, little diamondy things that you get when it goes around there. <laughs> hey, you know, you know, man. All right, so, yeah, so now I have something I can, I can work with, right? And I'm just going to, again, I want to kind of start playing around a little bit with um, this look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a little bit of this and then Control Shift X um, to start um, growing my selection, right? Because I want to kind of be able to, to, to use polygroups to make it easy for me to isolate the top jaw so I can mask it or what have you, right? So I'm just going to kind of like grab this part, Control W it so I can mask this part out. And then I can just come in here and if I need to, I can just kind of like, yeah, move the lower jaw in some way or other. Because it's just, it's always kind of a pain, uh, as you probably know, to um, try and isolate the lower lip for the upper lip. So I just needed to kind of get that done. Invert my mask a little bit here, build this part out. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now I have something which kind of works as a shape. It's not pretty, not pretty by a long shot, but it kind of works at least in terms of like, I can kind of get a personality out of this guy. I'm really having trouble for some reason making my, uh, my pen work. Very odd. Okay. Um, 
And let's just go here. Okay, so now I think I wonder if my I wonder if my pen is going bad. Now I think I can try and start messing with this a little bit. You're getting zeros next week. That's awesome. I I, I keep like I keep seeing you know like people scoping in, in like Blender and stuff like that, and it, it always looks cool. But I've heard people say it's not the same, and I don't know much about what the difference is. Um, but yeah, I've heard, I've, I've, like, I've heard people say it, just, it feels different and there's like there are some drawbacks, but I, it's always looked pretty cool to me. So at the very least, at least, at least that's always available. Um, and I've seen you know, people do really crazy things with Blender. So uh, I have to, like, again, I keep I keep saying this over and over again. At some point, I'm going to learn Blender. Um, that's not today, not uh, anytime soon, but. <laughs> It definitely has gungany feel to it. Um, I think the floppy ears are not doing me any favors in that regard. I'm gonna bring this whole guy down a little bit like this. Um, sometimes I do this a lot too, and I'm, I'm trying stuff out. I'll like I'll start blocking stuff out, and then like be like, you know what? What would happen if I rotated it like 70 degrees? And uh, sometimes that works better. Oh, and Nomad. Okay. Yo, what's up, Nathan? Look at this live show. Yeah, and this again, I, and this is this is a weird one in the sense that I have no idea where I'm headed with this. Like, I just started with a sphere, and, I'm, and I, I, in, and I went to the old artistic standby, insert spaceship, and uh, inserted some some weird shapes, and then tried to turn it into something. And there's a lot of uh, a lot of experimentation and trial and error. It was very wonderful. All right, so. This is gonna be a long. This is gonna be, be a long stream because it might be one of those things where I can't leave until <laughs> until I don't hate what I'm doing. That could be a while. Be here for a second time. That's okay though. This stream break started today, which means there are no students left to teach for several several days. That's uh, for the record. All in case anyone's listening, it's terrible. I'm missing terrible. <laughs> so, so here's the part. I'm just gonna start like getting some. Some ideas here and again like obviously this is still low res right so everything i'm doing is just kind of um suggesting where i'm headed essentially right um i was i need to add some eyes in here and yeah i'm not i'm not breaking any molds here right i mean this is still a pretty standard facial shape but i, I want to kind of have a little fun with the sculpting of the actual like intricacies of the features and, and the texture. I want to have a lot of fun with texturing tonight too. I want to kind of like um, play around with paint a little bit more than usual if I can. So I kind of just bring in some. Again, I'm just using clay build up, damn standard. Like I'm not getting anything fancy yet. I just want to kind of start again. I, I, I'm not even like I'm not overthinking this either. Like this is still part of the whole give yourself problems to solve. What's up, Angry Monday? Thanks, man. He, yeah, he, he definitely, he definitely has not a gargoyle feel. There's no, there's no doubt. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more, I think, and just see how this looks. Give him a little more of a right here, maybe. I mean, he's Gungan esque. <laughs> he's he's Gungan. Yeah, he, there is a resemblance. <laughs> now I'm just mad because I was going to look at this and just think of Jar Jar the whole time, which is fine. Jar Jar ended up being kind of cool in the Clone Wars series. I feel like this is still not symmetrical. If I were to deep mirror well this, yeah, see, well, it's symmetrical, it's weird. Okay. Sometimes I think I just uh, don't know how the symmetry works. All right, before I get too far ahead here, let's go, let's bring in some eyes just to kind of have something in there. 
And I think, generally speaking, when I want something to look stupid, again, by stupid, I don't mean poorly done, I, although that's a given. I just mean like, you know, not not overly bright. I think little eyes are are always kind of a good a good a good way to go here. Like just little ones. I don't know. It just I think this makes sense. Let's put unmasked points here. And stuff. <laughs> This is actually something that I that I that I've done a little bit. I, I used to I, I sculpted some busts, um, and I printed them out like that because again I'm running out of shelf space. So I printed them out. And I just kind of like mount, mount them to like a you know to like a little wooden plaque. So it kind of is like that. I have some of those here um, in my office just because I think they're kind of cool to do that. I'm just going to make eyelids just by um, duplicating the eyes, and uh, and then just. You know, this is cheating, but that's okay. I'm just going to kind of flatten it. I made it a slightly bigger, right? And then I'm just going to kind of make this, yeah, you know, like this for now, just to kind of give it some, some purchase there in the, uh, in the head. Might end up, you know, at some point merging it with the head, but for now. I'm just going to kind of let it go. I'll just drag out a copy here and make this the uh, bottom one. Again, this is really more or less just to kind of visually give my, my, my eyes a home. Um, at some point, I might merge them with the head or just build around them. But I just don't want to have to worry about, uh, you know, trying to Kind of sculpt out of sculpt eyelid out of existing head right now. I just want to have something there that kind of just gave the eyes somewhere to sit. I'm gonna go to the top ones here and just push them in a little bit here. I want to kind of like sharpen that edge a touch. So I'll go to my J cut and with Alt, I'm just kind of drag that line out there a little bit. So the flattening of whole control, yes, yeah, um, that is true. In fact, I, and I've I actually I've been using um, the the transpose tool a lot more. Too. I mean, the, the the original transpose line as opposed to the actual gizmo, that is actually still a very useful little tool, um, just to kind of like elongate. Like, Let's start with that. So I want to go here to this guy here, and I want to do a couple more things before I move on. These little, these little pieces here, not awesome. Um, so I want to just bring in some some shapes here to kind of make that better. So let's go here to some now. Let me turn that music down just to touch on the cloud for you guys or not. But let's go here, and I can let me I'll just. Let's go to, let's go to Curve Alpha, just for funsies. Let's go here and I choose something like Alpha 15. Go to my modifiers. My curve, I say turn off uh, repel. Okay. Right, be good timing for the, for the auto save. Turn off repel strength. Um, and I'm going to change that. Uh, fall off a little bit. And now I go to my trusty transpose line that I was just talking about. I'm just going to pull these out a little bit more. Oh yeah, that, yeah. I think it was just that last track because you're right. I, I didn't notice it until that last song. It must have been a. Uh, a little anxious in the studio. Let's see if I can actually widen this kind of like this to make this a little bit more. Uh, let's see. 
Now I'm going to do that thing where you kind of like, yeah, hold down alt and uh, do a little bendies. why I think this is funnier to have them kind of droopy like <laughs> droopy um <laughs> droopy horns I don't know why I like that again mentioned in the beginning this this is not going to necessarily be the best thing in the world um but it'll, it'll be it'll be uh it'll be a change I do love the bend curve. It's so so cool. Alright, well let's go I'm gonna stick with this. Let's put this off. Just wanna have uh something there that kind of feels like it makes a certain degree of sense. And then let's just uh try to get a copy of these. And kind of bring them back here. So I'm going to start with that and just have, you know, let's put those off too. So I'm just trying to get kind of a, kind of a, a look that I think that I can work with. And again, like I said, I don't know how this is going to look. This could be the stupidest thing I've ever done, which would be saying quite a bit, which would be in itself newsworthy. So it's just, you know, let's, let's, let's stick with this. But keep in mind that things always look stupid early on. You know, what often looks stupid early on things that end up looking stupid at the end too. So you don't know. We just don't know. Let's bring up this little bit here. Okay. I'm going to subdivide this. This is my first subdivision here. And let's start kind of actually starting to, to feel where we're going with this here. I like the idea here of these, these having a little bit of um, indentations in certain places here. I want this to feel. I'm going to be going for lots of, uh, if I can anyway, lots of like stuff happening on the face just to feel like there's a lot of stuff going on like it's not, you know i don't want to go smooth here lines and folds and all kinds of stuff technical term you want to understand let's go here and just again i'm not using anything fancy yet obviously it's too it's too early in this, in this to kind of think about most brushes that have you know unique uh things because it's just very early on it's like very low res but um, most of it's going to be using some clay build up here and just seeing where I go. And a lot of this is, it's almost like, it's, I think of it like it's like throat clearing. Like I'm just, I'm killing time before I, until I get enough guts to start actually doing stuff. Um, but that is, you know, sometimes you need to, it's like warming up. You need to kind of like, you know, build up your, your, your confident confidence to the point where you can say, okay, I think I know where I'm going at. So I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just sculpting stuff. But I think that at some point, as long as there's a face to start with, <laughs> it looks like a thing that is done. I'm going to kind of start with this uh, lower lip here. And again, I, 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 I want to make sure this is separate because I might end up like having a little bit of teeth um, kind of sticking out of this, of this, of this lower jaw. So I, I want to be able to kind of like, you know, change that as I go if I need to. this area here around this little horn to kind of feel like it's leading up to that horn. Same idea here. I might need to inflate a little bit. It's just to kind of build some of this out. Just want to try something here. I literally just squashed the entire face up because I need to sometimes do this thing <laughs> where I um, where I take whatever it is I've been working on and essentially just throw it out the window and not, not throw out the window, but like basically 
I've said this in other streams where I kind of have to like like guard against um, doing stuff that's just too 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 safe, and whether that we, whether that be a pose or you know whatever it might be. And this is one of those things where I think that um, I was you know because when you're first starting with a shape that you don't know where it's going, right? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna call it a win if it looks like a face. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the best face. Doesn't necessarily mean it's 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 the it's the the look that's kind of you know that's, that's best for what what you're doing. So sometimes once you kind of like say okay I have a face, but what's the point of the face? Now like okay, so now I want to kind of really exaggerate it a little bit more than I was, and that's kind of where I am right now. I'm just trying to exaggerate this a little bit more um, shape wise, so that I can kind of uh, maybe kind of create what feels to me like anyway uh, more of a personality. To my little character here all right so i just really squashed his face up and i think that that's going to be better in the long run Still messing around with the face shape a little bit here. And again, like I think that's I think that's kind of the cool the fun part of this is that you just don't, you know, don't don't stay too attached. Like once once you start this and you say, okay, well there's a face now. Thank goodness I have a face. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the best, you know, it's the best option, right? So like I just try to kind of like force myself, like I said, out of that comfort zone as much more as much as I can. So it's kind of like start exaggerating things. And that's where I think it gets fun is if you start saying, okay, so I, I do have a face. So worse comes to worst, I have a face. Doesn't, you know, but maybe I can kind of, I don't know, take that face and then do something interesting with it by, kind of, you know, basically turning the tables and saying, oh, you thought you were done. <laughs> nope, you gotta try, gotta try and make something out of this mess that you just made. And that is, uh, that's what I did. I made a mess. There's a part like at this point, at this point, like I don't know if it's just me, where I just start like, like I don't know. And we're talking about this, I think, in in the Discord chat. We're talking like, like you know, sometimes you just don't know where to go. And what I do is I just start with like say clay build up brush or damp standard brush or whatever. I just start trying kind of like just find little little flows <laughs> to kind of say, okay, maybe there'll be there'll be some muscles this way. Maybe there'll be something this something happening here. And I just like start almost like. Not, it's not random, but it's it's kind of like just throwing some some shapes in there, and then you're almost kind of seeing where it ends up, and say, okay, oh, I can build on that, I can build on that, and especially if I'm just doing something from like this, where it's kind of doesn't really have a goal, um, it's it's kind of interesting to see where that where that, where that can lead, you know, and just kind of start finding little patterns. It's almost like you're looking for patterns. You know, you start messing around with these kind of shapes here and say, okay, I can see that where that could be a big layer of, of muscle or fat or something like that and kind of just keep going with that. Um, and again, at this early stage, I think they build up is just really great for that because it just does a great job of, of just making things messy, but in an organic feeling way. You know, don't underestimate again. You know, like just at this early stage too, just using like things like, you know, whatever brush works for you in terms of like cutting in, but like just damn standard, just to kind of start like getting rid of some of the smoothness that kind of makes these early stages feel a little, you know, like sanitized. That's <laughs> not very interesting. A little anodyne, I think is the word. Um, I'm gonna hold down Alt, just kind of bring in a little ridge here, for like the lower left part. And I think, generally speaking, right, whenever, like, um, whenever I think you come up with something interesting for a character, you, I think it, it often helps to kind of start with something that's recognizable, like this, like the just generic face, and then just kind of continually start adjusting its its proportions, kind of getting it further and further away from the ordinary, if you can. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to kind of like. Um, force myself out of that kind of 
you know, that feeling of, of being safely and safe and ordinary. Um, you know, we'll see how, again, we'll see, we'll see how successful that is. So let's see if some a couple smaller ones here. Um, cause I like the idea when it comes like to the horns and teeth and that kind of thing of, of like having layers of, of ones just to kind of like, again, to kind of break it up. So it feels almost like, um, I don't know, almost, almost like there, 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 it's, it's the, the disorganization of it kind of makes it feel more like it's realistic. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but like if, if, if the, if the horns are too, like, kind of like obviously placed sometimes or, or teeth or what have you, it looks like they're obviously placed. If you kind of put ones in, in places that seem inconvenient <laughs> for for the creature, then maybe it feels a little bit more realistic. I don't know. I mean, I'm just talking out of, out of turn, but um, I think I, that, that sometimes makes sense to me is to kind of like make these these things feel like they're inconveniently placed on the head. Things that don't, if it doesn't necessarily automatically ring great like being true sometimes it feels more uh, like it makes more sense but it doesn't make any sense i'm sure but it does to me so it's all, it's all that matters So I'm just throwing in some little little things here. And again, and because they're separate pieces, I, I might not end up keeping them all. Um, <laughs> that's what they're there for, Ol. That's why they're there. <laughs> yes, this is this is my horny gungan. This is uh, Naboo after dark. Yeah. <laughs> the music almost seems too fitting for that too. Yeah. Just... I don't know that I like these, but that's okay. I'm gonna hang on to them for now. And if I don't like them, I'll just delete them. Again, that's the good thing about having them separate little pieces. I just wanna have little ones here. start using my move brush. Okay, I'm going to go here to auto groups just because I want to isolate these two. We'll see. I don't know about these. I don't know about these. Let's go back to my uh, split hidden. I want, I, want, oh, okay. I want to just hang on to those, but I'm going to hide them for now. We'll see. It 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 probably it it, it could be. It could be. Is that like even still around? That was a. Uh, that was a, a, a very significant channel from my youth, I can say that, but I don't know if it's still around. But it might be. I'm out, I'm, out, I'm out of the loop here. But I will say, yes, it was um, it was a channel that we were all very aware of when we were young, young people. For perfectly fine, perfectly valid reasons. Okay, the one thing about Curve Alpha, which is, I think is weird, is that it's got a million uh, divisions around around this, but very few this way. It's odd. I don't know. I don't know why it does that. It just it just it bothers me. And I wish there's probably a way of fixing that. But it's it's weird. The default should be so. I don't know. I mean, I, I might just be mad at the nature of the alpha that I'm using, probably. But um, okay. so there we go. I'll, I'll take that here. Yeah, I don't think it is either. I'm sure it got, uh, it was probably merged into something else. 
You always had the memories though. Oh, always had the memories. <laughs> so now I'm gonna start messing around with this. We got the pouch, which I don't know what, you know, who knows. Is Showtime still around? <laughs> I know Showtime is still again. I, I I don't uh not up to date on the TV. The only show I'm currently really watching is a show that I think was on the air like three years ago or four years ago, which is it's on. Uh, I got I I got it, but it was on. I think it was on Stars. It's called Counterpart. It's got like J.K. Simmons in it. It's awesome. It's an awesome show. If you have not seen Counterpart, you should watch it. It is it is so cool. I'm like so glad I found that show because I'm just I'm just loving it. It's like only got two seasons, so it's like it actually has like a full ending to it, and it's really really cool so far. I've only I'm, I'm like I'm almost through the first season, but it's 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 very trippy. <laughs> Angry Monday, I think you I think you're I think you hit the nail on the head as to why it was such a formative <laughs> formative channel. <laughs> So again, still not much in the way of subdivisions here. Still just kind of getting a feel. But I don't hate this. I think that there's something that could be, there are plenty of, of things that could be fixed. I think I'm going to broaden this, these, these horns um, and maybe go through and kind of broaden this little area here, broaden this part out a little bit. I found... I don't know if this is just me, but and I think maybe it's just me getting older and my my reflexes are getting worse. It's very possible, but like whenever I control tap to invert the mask, nine like nine out of ten, it doesn't do it. It it just it just um, clears the mask. Like and I'm pretty sure I'm doing it right, but who knows? I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there that it could, I feel like I feel like that. Um, uh, this is uh, this is a thing that's happening. This is a, a phenomenon that is occurring, and it needs to be explained. It starts at two a.m. Yeah. Well, that's that shouldn't be a problem for you, Jamie. I don't think you. <laughs> you're, you're, you're. I don't know that you ever sleep. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it was purely for it was purely for scientific uh, reasons, there, Raul. Like we were just really, you know, we were we were we were learning about the human condition. Back for people born in the, growing up in the 80s and 90s, that was really the only way to learn. Unless you found the old National Geographic, in which case you could learn from that too. Still just figuring out exactly where I want these this, this placement to be. Um, like I said, I want this. I want these to kind of feel a little bit less than like, like cleanly placed, but I think this is a little bit better. I want to just I want to kind of do something in this little area here, so it wasn't just a big old nothing, but.
Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, Jamie. Yeah, that, 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 that long COVID is no joke, man. I'll move this bit back a little bit here. I think that what I need to do. I want him not so smiley. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to bring in a little bit of little bit of uh, some some kind of little little teeths, little place, little bit of something here, just to kind of just for funsies. So let's come in here and uh, bring a couple little spheres. I'm going to turn off symmetry. Um, because I don't want these teeth to be symmetrical. I'm just gonna make just just a little tapered tapered spear. Let's just go a little bit. I don't know that I that I want this to be quite so pointy either. I think again, like part of the the part of the the less intimidating teeth too, or they're just, they're not overly pointy. They're just, they're just there. I'm gonna pop one right here. Here, that brush, I hate that move tool, I mean, that, that insert brush bar across the top here. Try out one here to the front. Well, Jamie, if anything helps you sleep, it'll be listening to me. <laughs> open. My, my, my streams are open. NyQuil out of business. I shouldn't go with two on either side, but I'm only human. All right, so let's come up here. Rotate this a little bit. Right, and now I go to the top lip of this guy. Oops. kind of like you know giving these these teeth some uh some room Just going to do a little adjustment here. Yeah, I think that's better. I want to grab these guys. You can see that. Okay. I love you. Every sculpt I have, every project I have. There's always something that will just give me endless, endless trouble. Like there's always, nothing goes 100% smooth. There's always one part, whether it's like the eyes or, you know, something. In this case, it's, 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 it's these. Like I know I want them here because I think it's going to give him a better look. But I, just, I can't find... I just don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't quite found it yet. We will find it though. We will find it. Put that from up now. 
there. It's not bad. Not terrible. So I'm gonna, and also there's also something to be said for not getting too too caught up in the weeds here in this going on because there's little things that you focus on that you kind of like agonize over. They might kind of like essentially just become part of the larger thing and larger sculpt and not necessarily be the the world ending problem that you might think they are. <laughs> so this is sort of moving forward here a little bit. Let's build up some news. Okay, so I'm going to start just, again, just using some um, contouring, essentially, right? Just kind of like coming here and saying, okay, here's what the shapes look like. So let's just kind of give them another, um, another layer of surface noise, essentially, at this point. Um, I'm just kind of like, again, just because Clay Build-Up is so cool at just making things look like they're they have stuff happening. I'm just going to go through and just start throwing this on here. And, you know, this, like I said, I think I mentioned before that just by doing this, sometimes you'll see little patterns or at least I'll see little patterns that, um, that strike me as being, okay, I can kind of mess with that. I can kind of emphasize that little area or, you know, de-emphasize certain areas and just kind of like find a way to make them seem like they kind of work together. I'm going to kind of dig in a little bit here. Um, and then kind of start building this stuff out here. So let's just. But again, that's, that's to me. Again, for someone like me who's not necessarily what you call a a, a concepting guru, um, the, the 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 fact that the clay builder brush is often so um, it's often so uh, kind of noisy and kind of you know like just messy um, is what kind of gives it. It's value sometimes because again, it's 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 just it just kind of provides structure and 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 forms that I would not have thought to, to add myself. So it's like okay, well that's what the clay brush clay build up brush says to do. I'll right, go with that. I just started kind of building it up with this. So I, I over I probably over rely on it to be honest, but um, yeah. <laughs> You're not the first person who said that, Ram. So I'm, 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 I hopefully I'm not uh, subconsciously channel channeling this. <laughs> I said I was trying to make him look dumb, Ram, but not quite that level of dumb. I do have my limits. <laughs> This is a rematch right here. So I'm just going to do a quick um, I'm on the horns here. I think that these are kind of ugly with these like they look kind of like little edges here. Let me see if I can just do a clay clay polish on these guys and kind of just knock down some of that puffiness. And I think a little H little H polish here and there. Kind of like just knock some of these edges down a little bit, maybe a little bit of noise, you know. Again, this is a we'll call this a sketch in the sense that you know, and like sculpt these things or anything like that. But yeah, I think for me anyway, yeah, clay build up is like clay build up is actually you know, for me, it's like the rake brush, you know, not the brush, but the rake tool that you would use if you're sculpting with clay, kind of like just like kind of just evens everything out and kind of almost gives you like a cleaner 
place to start ironically because it's you're giving it you're getting a cleaner place to start by kind of making it, it like uniformly messy but it just kind of removes the 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 unsettling neatness of like the curve brush and um you know just a, a remeshed surface where everything is nice and clean again the the randomness of this brush is really great for organic stuff in my opinion um and i have back face masking on uh because obviously some of these areas are somewhat thin and um i want to kind of uh avoid that really aggressive um kind of destruction that the clay buildup brush can bring and now i'm just using the orb cracks brush and just kind of again almost just randomly but i want to kind of like just make it feel I'm not adding cracks so much as just um ran, more random indentations the the curve alpha brush had some indentations on it but they were very regular you could see so like they all the lines were kind of like just flowing perfectly and that really wasn't what i was you know obviously going for um so just kind of like doing that adding one level of subdivision perhaps and a little bit of h polish just to kind of add some um some flatness to some of those little puffy areas and then some clay build up to rough up those areas a little bit more so they feel a little bit more like they're made from that whatever horns are made from if there's a word there's a name for it but i don't know what it is um isn't there a word for that what the horns are made of mm, something like that but I just want to kind of like just really quickly again I'm, I'm, I'm obviously as you can see I'm I'm just I'm going through it very quickly here I'm not being very cautious and one is because I don't want to spend you know the amount of time I might ordinarily spend on this while I'm on stream just kind of like <laughs> going up and down this little this little thing but also again sometimes there's something to be said for letting the kind of randomness work for your for you working quickly is not because I know what I'm doing or from it it's because if I tried to do do, do things deliberately it would look like i did them deliberately and it wouldn't go quite as well i don't think so that's just you know something i'm trying to mess with here all right so i use my little move infinite depth brush here we do little pinchies here on the ends all right i think, I think it's fine again who knows who knows i might end up doing getting rid, of, getting rid of these or messing with these some more but let's just see so if i were to again this is the this is the exciting let's try 75 different things with the, with the with the horns brush here worst thing let's just you know what would happen if we did a little bit of this just... this went a little bit more not extreme i guess but kind of like it going up and then back down again Thank you, Curve Ben Curve Brush. All right. And let's just move these down so they cover up that little area that I was. The whole point of, this, of these of these horns was that they covered up that area. And it's okay. Okay. And now I'm going to bring in something here to kind of make it look like that they belong. All right, so right around now, one hour in, I feel that at least now we have a starting point to start detailing this a little, not detailing, but actually like going beyond just the whole, let's just block in stuff. So I think that we can kind of mess around with this a little bit more now. I'm going to just, just, just so I'm not looking at gray the whole time. If you remember from some of the previous streams, I kind of, I always wanted to add a little hint of color just so I can start feeling like I, like I had like a, like a feel for the overall character even if i don't end up using these colors i just want something on there so i'm going to kind of just go with something really really generic at this point for the for the um for the face and then for the the horns i'm just going to move into the reds a little bit i think something like this again just as a starting point maybe a little bit less red than that All right, let's just throw some color in here. I'm gonna go here. This one I'm not even using probably. Those little don't forget those horns I had off the, the, to the side. Um, they were they were under the assumption that I might use them at some point, um, but I don't know for sure. Let's go here to the teeth. Throw something in there. 
And I want to make sure I sample this color because I still have the eyelids that I have not done anything with yet. I think I'll just leave them the way they are. Eyes, just for now. I'm, just gonna, I'm probably going to stick with black just, just so that they're not, you know, changing color everything. That's it's a starting point. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Um, go back to the body here. Do a little bit of this. It's just uh, oh, this, these little guys here. I was wondering what they were. They were sticking out. I don't like these. So it's just. Mask this out. Control shift tap to bring everything back. I'm going to go to my transpose tool and just crunk, crunch it in. Who cares? I was going to see it. It was bothering me. All right. Okay, so now let's start doing some stuff here. So I'm going to, again, I don't have, I have a million points on this already, um, which is quite a bit. Um, and I think you can probably get quite a lot more with this here, just messing around. So let's just uh, start bringing in some of this. Uh, the damp standard brush here and just start carving in a little bit here. Now let's go a little more clay build. I want to kind of build up around this eye and kind of bring it into this little area here. Um, again, I'm looking for kind of like these little, these, these little, these little flows of, of things. They might not have any actual anatomical bases, but I mean, we're talking about this, this creature here. So who knows why we bring it anatomy into this. It's a, it's a, it's a giant Gungan moose on the wall. What are we worried about? Yeah, it's a gun good moose. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. We don't know what it is. Carve in a little bit more. I think what I can do instead of using those little horns is just do a little bit of a just bring out the... you can actually do too with your move brush or any brush I guess uh, the grab stuff turn on accu curve and that kind of um makes it pull it more to a point you think it's more pointy i guess when you pull them out i think that's how that works let's do a couple up here too Again, too much of a good thing. All right. <clears throat> All right. So now you got something that it looks mildly alive. Come in here and start. Um, trying to kind of use damn standard now, start carving in. What I'm going to do is because the body keeps getting in the way, I'm just going to hide the body for now. Um, so I'm not kind of distracted by that. I'm going to come in here and start doing little bits of uh, stuff. This is, I, I don't know if this is what other, other folks do or not, but like when it comes to this kind of stuff, I don't really know what the heck I'm doing, but like I just kind of start going over this a lot with the damn standard brush and just kind of like find little areas to kind of rough in and i don't really notice much while i'm doing it but then when i'm done i feel like all right a lot has changed i haven't saved it all um so like just kind of going through it almost like just 
lazily <laughs> just moving your moving your pen around to kind of you know as long as you're kind of paying attention to what you're doing angle wise you can just get a lot of cool little you know like again like just um detail that way no 3d man how you doing man uh, it's going pretty well again this is this was one of those ones where I, I think I was mentioned at the beginning, like I, I, I've been doing lots of, you know, sculpts that were based on existing characters and that's, that's fun. But I think from a, like an imaginative standpoint, I didn't feel like I was, I felt like I was like kind of, you know, just, it was, I was, I was just copying a little bit too much. You know what I mean? I was, I was doing stuff on, based on concepts, based on, you know, on existing characters. I tried to put a spin on them, but there's always that. You know, that fallback of well this is the character so if i'm not sure i'll just look at the art you know the existing character and then kind of go from there and this is you know again I, sometimes i think it's it's good just to kind of play around in, in a sense but also just force yourself to find a shape that wasn't there and even if even if the shape you end up finding is a, a relatively familiar one this is certainly not again not groundbreakingly original obviously but you know, I'm, I, 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 you had to, you, you had to find it and just, again, finding it is, it's just, a, it's good to kind of train your, your, your brain to start thinking in those terms sometimes to kind of like, um, kind of have to make something out of nothing. And even if, like I said, even if what you're making is something that is very familiar or not, you know, crazy original, I just think that's something that you need to do every once in a while is, is to kind of get your brain and kind of say, okay, like, you're not going to, you're not going to rely on this character that already exists. You're going to kind of have to, um, find your own way. You know, I think that that's, uh, I, th I think that there's something to be said for that. I, I think that, that generally speaking, when it comes to like sculpting characters or ca do whatever it is that you're doing, if you're, if you kind of, if you don't force your, force yourself sometimes to kind of find your own way, I think you don't necessarily ever you know, come up with anything innovative when you're doing something, even if I'm doing something that exists already, you know, just by doing this more often, I think that I'll be more likely to, to not shy away from, um, you know, trying something that wasn't necessarily in the original and say, well, I want to try something like this because this shape worked before. And, you know, again, I, I just think that generally speaking, you want to get, um, you want to kind of get yourself in the mindset that, uh, that starting with with nothing is not a problem because you can you know you can find your way to something okay it might not be it might not be the best thing in the world but it doesn't need to be i think that just that that process of kind of forcing yourself out of a like i said that kind of comfort zone of having the fallback of the concept art is in itself a good thing um you know it's 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 a good, it's a good creative intellectual challenge just to, to, to get into, even if it's not really your main goal, just because again, I think, I think that it's really easy just to kind of sculpt on something and say, well, I did it. It looks like the thing, you know, I just, it, ultimately it doesn't, it doesn't always come out looking terribly remarkable. It's like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's competent. Like that's, that's how I would describe most of the work that I do. It's, mildly competent but completely unremarkable and that's one of the things i'm trying to kind of like avoid i'm trying to kind of get out of that mindset where you know the stuff i do like i, like, I, don't, I don't want to be um i don't want to feel like i've accomplished what i'm doing just because it looks like the thing that i that i was going after i want this to be something that is i don't know, I want, I want myself to be something that's a little bit more unique to the person you know because i because i did it and I'm definitely not at that stage. That's the whole point. It's like, you know, I, I want this to be, I want the stuff that I do to kind of have a little bit more potential, at least for innovation and so forth and, 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 you know, interesting ideas. And I think that one of the ways to do that is to kind of put yourself in a position where you don't have anything to go by except, you know, except what you, what you come up with. Right. So that's just, again, that's Brad's philosophy on on why i'm starting with a dynamo sphere and making what amounts to a gungan moose i mean i don't really need a reason it's always good to have a gungan moose i imagine but um I mean, who among us has not said at some point you know what i can have use right now damn gungan moose you've all been there it's just great
that. I probably just did that. Yeah, let's make it okay. All right, so let's divide this one more time. I'm going to give myself lots of points. And now I'm going to start messing around with like little alpha E stuff and that kind of thing. So let's just, let's play. Let's, I'm going to go to the GeoSoft form brush here first. Again, it's one of those things that you can do this a lot more if you're not, uh, you know, like recording and <laughs> thinking, well, this is not interesting. Let's see. <laughs> you can also, um, let's try mass by cavity. I like this kind of thing where I just mass by cavity and I'm gonna hide that mass a little bit. I'll just go with inflate and just, I'm gonna just blow that mask a little bit. Um, and then just do a little inflate um, on some of these areas to kind of just build that up again, kind of like exaggerate. This is almost like, you know, it's like doing the contrast brush, right? The contrast. Um, but like all that masking, all that little, those little, those little sculpts, you know, things with the damn standard brush that you make all these little cavities and you can kind of like just go in there and just um, exaggerate them a little bit too. And, you know, because this is, and kind of like a little sketch of a sculpt, right? It's not one that's going to be worked on for days or any of that. Um, I'm going to rely a lot on kind of a, a little paint over probably in Photoshop and that kind of a thing. So like, um, I just, I, you kind of know going in that it's not, this is not going to live and die with the actual sculpting. So I mean a little bit, but you know, so now what I want to do is I want to play around with um, some interesting colors here. Again, I'm still going to keep sculpting, obviously, but um, I kind of want to do a little painting too. Like I said, I, I want to kind of bring this maybe into Photoshop a little bit and, and play around. Like I said, I can play a little longer tonight because spring break is here, um, which means I don't need to go to work tomorrow, which means I don't need to go to bed at the same time. I will roughly because I'm an old person, but um, let's have a little bit of fun sculpting this little thing and trying to turn it into something. My goal, again, I'm determined that this is going to be not a waste of time. Um, I'm determined that this is not going to be you know, completely useless, but um, I've had goals like this in the past and not always come to fruition. Let's go here, and I still think, still think. Oh, now I still think that this could be more. Yeah, 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 yeah. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I just get this one, just do a little bit of. These may be ears. We don't know. They're 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 in the position the ears would be. So it's not crazy to assume they're ear-ish. it up a little bit there okay anyway, better 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 you know what i know how you doing man thanks for coming in like i like i was saying before again this is this is one of those ones where um we're just seeing what we can make out of a sphere and uh you know trying to kind of like i said like i said i, I tried to kind of create problems i had to find a way out of just by kind of bringing in some some weird shapes and kind of starting with something that was um, a little bit, you know, a little tricky. Let's go back a little bit here. Ah, this is what happens, I think, when you have too much undo history. I go back forward a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is go to a part where I don't hate where it currently is. I have to wait a little bit because it's funny. Okay. So I'm just going to go here, delete, uh, to edit, and I'm going to delete, come on now, I'm going to delete older under history. So that's, that'll save me some time here. So I can kind of move forward now and see where I was, right? So I think that's probably where I want to be. Yeah, I don't want to get that far. It's too much, too much. We'll go with this. That's fine. 
I don't know. Has that always been the case? I know that there was delete under history. I don't know if there was like delete older under history. I guess if I was in the middle of that of that stack, they, they would give me the option of deleting just what was before that, which is really cool because especially if you know you're doing something like this from a sphere, obviously most of the stuff in the early stages you don't need to have anymore. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing. Also, again, I still haven't saved this at all yet. I've just done quick saves. Um, but yeah, I I. I personally think that this is something that that is a, is a good is a good exercise to get into. It's kind of you know, it's a week just go in there and just like, what's up, Nikita? Thanks, so, uh, thanks so much for coming by. Uh, or rather, this is this is no, this is just a, this is just a. I started with a sphere and I just I just kind of like pushed into different positions. I insert a couple of random shapes from the insert spaceship brush just to kind of give it a ridiculous um, profile. Or silhouette and i just try to kind of find a way to make it into something that could you know could conceivably be a thing right so it's just like i was like i was saying i i just kind of i like the idea of forcing yourself into situations where you have to make do with a shape that doesn't necessarily suggest anything and then just go from there so that's kind of what you know the plan was here that was kind of, that was the that was the philosophy i should say behind what's going on here this is just a uh this is just a a doodle, but it's it's an exercise. <laughs> it's an exercise and it's kind of trying to um, work without the, the luxury of um, of a concept to kind of like guide you and kind of like try and find your way through just by explore exploring, you know, a lot of trial and error too. I mean there's definitely lots of uh, lots of parts of this that are not great. Um, but I mean, again, it, you know, it, it was, it's kind of a fun experiment. And, again, like, and, and the fun part is, like I said, it, when it all said and done, um, you know, I'm going to take it into to Photoshop and try and turn it into a, an image that is actually, you know, interesting. That was, interesting. that was a mistake on my part. I was trying to subdivide my, uh, my little lower lid here. I'm getting a little bit of roughness on here. I forgot about the lids. What's up, Hannibal? I'm going to do a little bit of texturing here um, in ZBrush and then I want to kind of jump into Photoshop and do a little, you know, if I can, do a little fancification. I do like poly painting though. I mean, painting in Photoshop is cool, but poly painting is really fun. Yeah, the horns here could use a little bit of um, resolution as well so if I come in here once I do this then I'm going to start doing some poly painting and then I'm going to bring it into Photoshop and just see what can be done to make it look you know, all kinds of a little more a little more polished this is my this is my uh highly technical just scribble with orb cracks technique not for the faint of heart oh thanks well I know I appreciate it but um yeah, again, like, I mean, it's, it's the cool thing is because you're I'm starting from from with with just a sphere, it's 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 easy to feel accomplished <laughs> because if if it comes out looking like anything other than a slightly higher res sphere, this has been a success. It's been a smash, it's been a smashing success. Um, but again, it, it's not you know it's, it's not for nothing. It's it's you're starting from literally zero, and you have to kind of like find a shape and find a you know a character, and hopefully the character that you find feels like it's got some kind of personality, and you know kind of go from there. I want to go here with noise. I want to play around with noise for a second. Noise is actually really fun. It's not just not just for making things look bumpy, right? Um, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to a darker color. I'm gonna crank up the noise scale. It's gonna look stupid at first. But now I want to come in here to the scale sliders. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to, um, let me see, can you see this? I'm going to move this over here. Can I move this over here? Or may I just, I'll just hide my stupid face for a second. Hide me. And hide. Sorry, man. Gosh. What do I, all right, there are three buttons I, just the wrong ones every time. Okay, so I'm coming here to my scale, my X scale. I'm gonna kind of crank this down. I'm going to rotate it in the Z a little bit. Um, crank down my Z scale as well. 
and start playing around with rotations because you can get some really cool uh, designs if you mess around with the scale, but not just the overall scale, but these, you know, the individual scales. It's gonna make this a little bit lighter so you can see what's on the string. Probably a little too much. Make it more like this instead of right, so let's kind of go this in. Okay, so I can see something else. I get more of it like that. Almost like it's almost like a wood grain. I crank up the wood scale and then tone down the strength pretty significantly. Now it's going to go something like this and angle it a little bit. I love that actually, to be honest with you. Okay, that makes a little more sense. It's kind of good again. It's just a little bit more of a of a funky looking thing, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I'll keep it like that for now. All that for nothing. But that's okay. Like I told you, trial and error. Now I can bring back my stupid face again. Where's my? There it is. Don't worry, I'm new here. All right. So let's do a little bit of let's do a little bit of actual painting on here before we bring it in. So what I'm gonna do here on this dude. Um, first of all, let's do a little bit more on here to off symmetry. Um, let's turn this down a little bit. I'll bring in some, uh, some little stuff here. Little. Now what I should do is bring in some of those cool brushes for skin textures um, that I think, I think it was Pablo uh, did the, the, the Giger brushes and the creature skin brushes. I have those and they're really, really cool. <laughs> they're really cool. Um, I really shouldn't be using those too. I'm use my little standard trails though. I was going to come in here and just add a little bits of this here just to kind of Yeah, like I said, some of this, a lot of this is going to be going on in Photoshop, so we'll, we'll kind of like focus on that in here. So, okay, so let's just do a little bit of, of painting here. B, P, A. Um, and I'm going to go here with spray, and I'm going to choose just something like, like this guy. And I want to kind of start with like an orange. I'm going to tone down my intensity a little bit, turn off Lazy Mouse. Um, and I want to just kind of come up and just start like hitting some of this in here. I come in here and just start like hitting the, the sides here. I get a little bit of orangey stuff happening in here. And again, this is all going to be very vague. I just want to kind of like, I want, I want there to be a, an overall textury feel to this that makes sense. Um, and then I'll just go into Photoshop and do a little fanciness here. Again, fanciness, I don't know, who knows. Dim lighting, <laughs> mood lighting probably, that's how we're gonna do it. Um, I go here and do a little, I'm gonna actually move a little bit into the green, I think, I have like a, a darker screen. You're a little more desaturated. I might even change the poly paint mode to multiply. See how dark this gets. It might be too dark, but we'll see. But yeah, that kind of green with multiply turned on, I think, is a cool little, um, cool little way of kind of just adding that, that coolness to it. Let's go here and. Some green on the lip. Okay, 
Okay, now back to normal paint mode now. And let's go here to a lighter color. Come in here, just do a little bit of this. I go to a slightly uh, more vibrant color up top here. I think that's just get a little bit more warmth in here. Now I'm going to go here to the eyelids. I want to make sure they're, they're going to be probably that same um, darker color, darker green. I'm going to go to the eyes really fast. I just want to make them very shiny. So I'm going to go to eye reflection really fast and just um, fill that with the zero eye reflection so that we have a little bit more of a shiny eye. Might want to try, I don't know if this is going to make sense or not, um, make this a little shinier. I don't think I wanted that shiny though. It's a better basic material. Let's go here to the horns and get our paintbrush again. It's already set to multiply. I'm going to sample that same color um, and kind of just hit the ends with this a little bit. Then just go to that kind of creamish color back to number one. By number one, I mean regular old paint mode. Um, it's a little too, a little too desaturated. Let's get a little bit of this color in there. A little bit of color. Okay. Come in here. Do a similar kind of a thing. And go back to this color and multiply. Little ends. I'm going to a little bit more of a vibrant color here and go to color mode and just put a little bit of that in there. And now let's just, let's just drag out and let's just see if we can find some um, quick little things we can do here with, with the skin. So I'm gonna find some alphas here, just again, just to kind of add a little bit of something. Um, these little, like, just random alphas are, they're like just imperfections in the skin, basically, I think is kind of what I'm, you know, um, looking for. Not imperfections, but like just whole areas here. So like, yeah, so let's go back here to uh, multiply here. And not that alpha, I'm at the other one. There you go. Tone down the intensity a little bit. So I can come in here with these little guys and just like. I know I'm using the same alpha over and over again, which is a big no no. But... Just trying to throw some little, again, yeah, so much of this can be done in Photoshop as well. So I'm just going to, but just want to kind of throw some um, little speckles on here just to kind of break that up a little bit. Bring that other one really fast and just darken this up a little bit. That's in. <clears throat> okay. So let's turn on perspective here. Let's hear a little do. Turn off floor. All right. So let's just get a quick enter uh, here. Something like this. I want to make sure I get that that big throat though. So I'm going to do something like this. And 
Thank you, thank you, Jamie. I know I, I was going to do that. I was going to give him a little bit of a little bit of stuff down here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew I was forgetting something. So let's do that. I'm going to go here. My mask pen. I'm going to go here and I give it an alpha too. I just want to kind of give it a rough little alpha so that as I make a little mask with this, it's just a little bit, um, a little bit randomized here. Let's just try a little fibers here. Let's go to light. Let's go to scope preview. And we're going to go to modifier. It's going to turn our max fibers down to virtually nothing. I'm going to give ourselves some segments. I'm going to turn gravity off a little bit. I'm going to make sure this is. I don't think I want this to be. Um, let's be very very thin. So let's go to the coverage here. Give them some length, some length variations here. <laughs> Let's take a look. Now, again, I'm not, not going to do my, my 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 lighting yet, but I do want to have um, a little bit of an angle, some rays, lower global strength. Let's just see if we see the whiskers here. You just don't know. Okay, yeah, they are there. I just they're, they're just hard to see at the moment. So maybe we're going to give them a little bit more coverage. Maybe we're going to increase the max fibers a little bit here. Take another render. Max fibers up at one point eight. Might be a lot. Might be a lot of max fibers. We don't know. Let's see. All right, so I think that is a is a decent setting. So let's just save that it's just on the off chance. I'm gonna turn off preview here. I'm gonna add a little bit more to here. And just for fun, add a little bit here, almost like eyebrows. Turn it back on now. I don't think I got any up top there. A little bit okay all right let's just, let's just hit accept i think that this is going to be good i think that this is a good one let's go back to let's go back to our our uh our camera view here and let's go here with lighting so let's go to our light and i want this to be essentially like this i think this makes for a nice way to hide a lot of what i didn't do on this guy now i'm gonna turn this light off just for a second i'm gonna go to this other light I'm turn it on. I'm gonna crank it up, and then send it behind, so I get a little bit of rim here. We'll see how that looks. I could change the color. It doesn't really matter. I can do it in Photoshop too. But um, I don't know. I might, I might just keep it a little bit warm like this. Bring this bring the light in. Bring the light in. Come on, come on in. There you go. Okay. And let's go to this light and let's just, let's just see what this looks like here. Oh, what's up, Tony? I tried to get Tony to skip school tonight so he can come, you know, come and hang out, but he's, uh, he's, 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 he's too diligent. We have to, I, I have to work on corrupting Tony a little bit more, I think. Um, I think I'm going to go with something like this. I think I want to have nice and close up here. I'm going to go to material. I am going to get, maybe give it a little bit more specularity in the sense that it has virtually none. Uh, maybe a tiny bit of a tighter spec curve. I'm going to go to my time lap, my time timeline and, and keep this. So let's we'll see how this looks. <laughs> he is yeah you are dedicated the question is are you are you, do you have to be dedicated enough for everybody because you know i don't know if anyone else is anymore it's just uh my caps lock on so it wasn't working I just I want to just move the um, 
his eyebrow up a little bit. Got to find the right angle so we can see our little dude here. There we go. I think something like this is is probably closer to what we want to do. Uh, save this camera too. Now, before I even render out, let's just go to my filters because I need my filters. I need my filters because I have to compensate for how this actually looks. And I go to the vignette gotta always have a nice dark vignette my personal opinion that was not a dark vignette let's just tap this over here so i don't have to keep doing this make the vignette dark turn on fade have it about negative say 20 ish a little sharpen see how that works i might need to turn on ao too but ao with fiber mesh might be a little much we'll have to see That's not bad. Let's turn on the AO and see what we get with that. What am I doing? It's over here. All right, I think I'm going to go with this one. I think I like the side view here. It looks dignified. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this one. I think this is all right. Um, so let's go ahead up here and save out some of these so we can start playing in Photoshop. Let's go to my composite. I'm gonna save out the composite as opposed to the actual render because I kind of like what the filters do. Um, that's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna call this Doodle. Um, and let's just go with that. Let's just go with I'll go with shaded too. Why not? Um, we'll go with depth because this is actually one we might be able to use that with. It's close enough that it might have a good depth map thing. Bring all this stuff in. Go up to draw. Make sure I lock my camera before I forget. And I want to just play around with one or two little light things really fast. So um, let's go here with this one. I'm going to crank this up a little bit more. I'm going to bring it over here. Just to kind of give myself uh, a version of this render where I have some light on the right on the on the other side um, in case I want to bring in some of that. It's just going to be, you know, um, uh, right light, it's a technical term. Um, and the, again, I'm, I'm going to do most of this in Photoshop, so I'm not going to get too crazy with this. Um, but I just want to bring this back up top here. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's come out here into Photoshop. And we'll just do a little, little bit of, little bit of uh, touching up here. So again, but this is like all things considered, um, this is not a bad way to spend a couple hours just of just like, um, you know, trying your hand at something that's not the, uh, it's not you know, typical, right? Try something a little bit different. So uh, let's go here to doodle. Let's bring this stuff in. Bring it all in. Bring it all in. All right. So let's go to the one that we actually want to work with here. So this is the VPR composite. It's the one I'm going to start with. And I'm going to bring in some of the other stuff. Let's go to the, the depth map really fast. Copy that. Come in here. I'm going to turn off my, uh, my stupid face again so that you can see better what's happening here in Photoshop. So I'm going to come in here to my channels. Uh, and then add a new one and then paste the alpha and go back to RGB. So that alpha is there in case I need to paste the depth, I should say. So it's there in case I need it. Um, shadow pass, I don't think I'll need it, but I'm going to bring it in anyway on the off chance that I do. I'm just going to paste that right on top and just hide it. I might need it. Who knows? Right light, I'm going to bring in as another option for to add some lighting. So I'm going to paste that right on top as well. And I'm just going to hide that now. So the background, I'm going to change, obviously. So I'm going to put all of this, not, not a lot, I'm going to put all this in the folder. So I'm going to grab all this, Control-G to group it. 
Um, and then I'm going to make a new layer really fast. And not going to do much. It's not much of a difference between what I'm going to do here, but I just want to have um, the gradient in the background that I can just adjust, right? So radial, it's going to drag us out. I'm not going to use purple, um, but for some reason, I think that's the only way to do this is to uh, dry up, draw it out, and then change it. So whatever. Okay. I'm going to start with something with very basic like this. Um, <laughs> Speedy Max, see, that's the problem. You know, you, you got, you got, you have to get your, you have to get your, your priorities in line. Food, sustenance, life. We have creatures to sculpt. I mean, geez. Okay. So I'm only kidding. So uh, let's bring in our mask. So again, I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to, I put all my little stuff that I might use into a group, and that group will then get the mask, right? So that way, you only got to do it once. So again, now I'm going to come in here and play around with the, with the skin texture because this is way too straight, way too basic, way too dull. So we're going to play around with kind of painting in some stuff. And this is really fun to do sometimes um, <laughs> to bring in some textures. So here's the first texture I'm going to bring in. This is a weird, this is a weird texture to uh, to, to do. But I'm going to bring, I, I want to go to Google and type in burnt milk texture. It's a very weird thing to, 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 uh, to put in there. But this is kind of a really cool texture um it's got the, it's, it feels very organic and it's feels very skin like um thanks jamie see that's what i'm saying that's what i need I mean, you know, jamie's my pr man he's gonna help me out i'm gonna see this burnt milk um and uh i just I, I love this texture so much i don't i i don't remember where i found out about this like i think i just i got like a like a, a bunch of textures and one of them was this one of these and it said burnt milk it's like this is the coolest texture um ever like i love this texture and it's just you know i don't whether or not i can even end up using it it's it's been very useful in, in other other respects so it's really cool so let's bring in that let's just bring in the place embedded i guess i'll just do that and bring in some burnt milk and bring it down here and i'll use that probably um in his uh his little pouch thingy probably a little bit more um and i'm going to just warp this a touch not too much i don't need to worry about it too much because it's not going to be like you know 100 visible but it's really just for some you know some of that but i just do how did i did i just what did i mm, i'm fine did i bring my burnt my no. all right so i think i must have hit a button um sure I mean, why not? Let's just do that again. You know, it was fun the first time. Let's just do that again. But having some weird things happening with my pens and my and like um, symmetry going away a lot and my I don't know who knows. Enter. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna pop this in here. Set to blend mode. Um, something like soft light, probably. Um, and again. What I always, yeah, it's, it, it, it's, I love this texture so much. Now I'm going to come here and, uh, like I always do, typically, I come in here and I just make, hold down Alt and make a mask, right? So that it hides it entirely. Now I just paint it in with, with the paintbrush and white. Um, that's, that's, that's kind of, I love that because I, I feel like I'm just, I feel like I'm painting with a texture, um, which I guess is what I'm doing. So I guess that's why it feels that way. So let's come in here and just lightly just kind of bring this in a little bit, get some, and again, and because this is in the same folder with this mask, don't need to worry about keeping it uh, in the lines. It's already there, you know. It's just, but it's just kind of cool. It's just got a really cool feel to it. I just really dig it. Yeah. Who who have thought? Burnt milk. It's really cool. All right, so let's bring in something else here. And so let's go here to open. I'm going to go to textures. I'm not going to get too crazy. I, I, I again, I kind of like using textures that, that aren't skin textures, just because I feel like if I'm using skin textures, it's obvious I'm using skin textures. So I have some Photoshop textures that are just grungy stuff, um, and this is kind of, you know, more in keeping with what I think makes the most sense here. Um, I'm sorry, my cat is uh, cat is hanging out with me right now. So, okay, um, go to metals too. Like old metals are pretty cool, but I'm gonna go to grunge and just get in one of these guys. Bone shell. Okay, let me check that out. 
Okay, my cat is is really just uh, he's making it a little difficult right now, but it's okay. Um, what? Let's come down here with me. Okay. So, all right. He's a uh, he's being a little bit a uh, little bit needy right now. So again, color color dodge is actually really cool for this. Um, so I do want to kind of get some brightness in here. So color dodge is crazy, and I can just bring it in wherever I want it. So again, Alt click to mask out, mask out everything. And again, like because it's like I said, I'll say it a thousand times, but because it is um, in this folder with the mask, I can actually just essentially get nice little like edge highlights here with this, and not have to worry about staying inside the lines or anything like that because the you know the mask is keeping it where it needs to be, right? So I can get some really cool effects just by kind of finding the areas that I want to be hit by the light. Even, even even hitting like the, the the little fibers down here is kind of a cool way for that too. All right, let me. So I want to check out. Do I do I type in bone shell texture or just bone shell? This is the question. I don't want to. I, I'm going to type in bone shell texture because I'm afraid of what I might see or extra, as the case may be. Um, oh, this is yes. This has that. It's got kind of a cool like marbly um, thing, which is actually really really cool. Um, actually, this is marble. <laughs> That's shell stone. Wait a minute. So let's go. Maybe, well, maybe I should just uh, try bone shell. It's probably. It's probably. Yeah. It's probably. It's, I'm guessing it's kind of like that. 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 Turtle. Uh, turtle stuff. You gotta. Show, you gotta show me what. What the. What the. Uh, what the. What the. What the. 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 Church term is. Because I'm always looking for, oh, I'm always looking for, yeah, this is kind of cool. I'm always looking for good stuff that's kind of just adds roughness to it. This is actually really neat. These guys, it actually has a very scaly looking thing happening here, which is nice. You know what? This armadillo one is up in there. Either. That's some good stuff. Oh, this is, okay, let's go with leather. Yeah, bone shell, yeah, that's, see, anything that has the, that, that, that kind of like the, the mottled tan, I think is always going to be kind of a good, a good texture, especially if you're doing organic stuff. Um, Let's go with this leather one here. Nice embedded. Okay, let's go back to. Where's my noodle? Where's my noodle? No leather. This is small. I'm pretty sure it was bigger than this, but okay. Um, explain to me why this is like this. I don't know for sure. Let me just open this and see what the heck is going on. Copy it and then paste. Okay, yeah. Don't ask me why that was act that was that was doing what it was doing because I would I can't tell you. I have not the slightest clue. All right. So what's happening right now is for some reason my transform tools are not working. So I'm just going to close out Photoshop and then reopen it. Someone, I'm going to that second one. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. That's good to know. Um, let's, oh, hang on a second. Let's go back to that. Yeah. This. Uh, yeah. 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 That and that has, a, has, a, has a lots of like little little like bumps on it. It's, all, it's cool. It's almost like adding like surface noise. That's really neat. Hmm. Let's see if Control T gets me. Okay. Now I can resize. That was weird. Don't really know what was happening there. Oh yeah, see, soft light, soft light, and overlay are always, always my, always a good go-to here. Um, for this, let's kind of bring in a little bit of that in here. So we're gonna do some texturing. Now I'll do some painting too. But I just wanted to kind of get a little bit of free, free surface detail out of this. Okay. So let's just try something here. I'm going to make um, a gradient map. I just want to see if this works or not. Um, so what I'm going to do is do a gradient map here. It's going to kind of get me a different um, setup of colors. I'm going to move this, I think, a little bit more into the green. 
Uh, gradient maps are awesome for recoloring um, because they just recolor things based on the rightness, right? So you kind of get, you know, kind of a free, free recolor. It's, it's, it's kind of like doing a, a, a hue and saturation, I guess, adjustment when you think about it. But um, I'm going to do that and set the blend mode a little bit here as well to something a little bit different. Right, what is the one that I'm looking for? It's actually really cool looking. <laughs> okay. um, so this is just a little bit of a lightening here, and I think it's lightening I want to do. Color does it too much, but yeah. So lighten is cool. And again, I'm going to um, invert that, make that gone, and then I just paint some green and wherever I want to have a little extra green in the front here and I want to do the same thing I'm gonna do another layer with kind of like an orangish orangish tone set to soft light and this is going to be kind of like where I this is like you know um what's what I call it subsurface scattering kind of a thing kind of like a like, like a, a little bit of a, a, a glowy thing with the light hitting and the warmth coming through All right let's not get it here Oops, I was painting black. Not what I wanted. I forgot I have no mask here. I'm just gonna erase it like a sucker. I'm just gonna erase it like, you know. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna come in here with that same color. Just gonna have a little bit warm, a little bit of warmth down here. I might even move it a little brighter um, in this little area here so that it feels. Kind of like some lights coming through, right? And now I'm going to do another layer. I'm going to set that to multiply. I'm just going to come in here and do a little bit of um, of darkening some of these areas here. So hold down, I'm going to select this this green color and set the multiply. So it should be a darker version of this. Come in here and just darken some of these little areas. I still have that other lighting pass that I did um, to kind of darken some areas as well. I'm just darken the back of this a little bit more. Go back to my uh, soft light and go to a lighter color again. I want to kind of hit some of these little little guys here. Just kind of make them stand out a little bit more. Uh, again, the soft light with the orange is just kind of gives it a nice little um, nice little glow. This feels more alive sometimes when you kind of get that in there. Okay. I'm going to do another layer. I'm going to go to, say, white. I'm going to change my brush. I'm going to go to my trusty bunny brush here. Um, the bunny brush is just a chalk brush. It's, 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 uh, where's my bunny? Chalk, 11 pixels. Um, it's just, it looks like a bunny, right? Bunny. It's no, it's not much different than the regular brush, but it just has a little bit of, of roughness to it. I'm gonna kind of come in here and just like hit these little areas here, and kind of get a little bit more, um, you know, specularity in here. There's a little bit of wetness here. I'm gonna turn off transfer for a second, so it's 100%. It's going to hit these little. And then turn it back a little bit. Also, it's a little too much. I'm actually going to go here to transfer and just turn it on the flow of the pen pressure um, as well. Let's kind of hit some of these. Want to get a little? I hit the wrong thing. But I just want to get a little bit of uh, of specularity in this little little mouth area. Nothing big. 
I'm not very good at doing that, so I keep doing that. I'm doing it. All right, so I think we got a little something here. Let's um, let's bring in that other light pass here. Let's put this on top really fast, and let's go ahead and see what happens. Set this to color dodge, and then Alt click to um, remove the the mask. I'm gonna go back to my regular old brush here. I'm going to come here and just hit the, the edge of this a little bit more. I'm going to come in here and just let this the brightness come through a little bit here. Again, obviously you can spend a lot more time painting this stuff, but I'm just clicking away. So, but it has a cool little way of hitting these edges here. So I kind of dig that. See if I can get a little bit on that tooth. Yep. Now, let's just see. Um, I don't know that I want to do too much with the eye, but it's just it's just it's just a solid black right now, which is just not exciting. Um, so let's see. I'm go with a little red here, and i just do a little hint of red, and then maybe if I change the brush to Linear Dodge, add, I can just kind of get a little hint of, of something in there. Just a little hint of red might not be a bad thing. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see for sure. A little hint of that, of that glow around the eye here. Just... I'm going to turn it down a little bit, but I think a little hint of the uh, of the red just to kind of make it seem like the eye is a little. I just wanted to contribute a little bit more than just plain old shiny black would do, you know. Something like that. All right, so let's just do a tiny bit more. I'm sorry, folks, if this is getting dull. Um, I'm having I'm just, I'm kind of having fun with this right now, and then I'm going to just. Uh, I'm going to go back to my gradient, though. Can I just um, rasterize this? Yes. And then get rid of the gradient. Get rid of this map. We don't need this mask. I think what I need to do is paint a little bit of the black. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see that behind there. I want to kind of be fading the darkness a little bit. All right. Let's just do a couple little quick little things here. Um, one, I, I want to uh, mess around with the overall, uh, I want to give it just a little bit of a haze or something like that. So let's just go to open and let's go to textures and let's go to Photoshop textures. Oh, thanks, Jamie. I really, I really do appreciate it. I hope, that, I hope this was interesting enough. I was a little bit, uh, you know, quite concerned because no idea how it was going to look. Um, you know, it's, it's something. So I'm just going to go with an overlay here really fast. Uh, sure. Let's just bring this in on top of everything here. This is a big texture. Which is fine because I don't want to use everything. It's going to have a little bit of a little bit of that. I'm going to do a little mask and just knock out a little bit of it right here. 
And now I'm gonna do a couple little things. Let's do a quick adjustment layer. I always wanna try this. I always wanna try the color look up. You never know if you're gonna get a cool look here. Um, they're just basically filters, right? They kind of, kind of come in and just change the way things look. And you might find something that you love. You might find nothing. Um, or you might find something that you want to kind of have in some places or not, right? So, um, like again, like something like that. It's just, it's, it's, it kind of ups the contrast a little bit, which is kind of cool sometimes. Um, I think this one here. It just, it just kind of, you know, it, it does a pretty good job of, of knocking out some of the, some of the haze. And it's not terrible. Um, one last thing, I'm just going to go to Control Shift Alt E. Just going to do a, a copy merge here, and then I want to do the. Um, let's see about the uh, the lens blur. So I'll go up to Filter, Blur, and then Lens Blur, and then choose as my source the Alpha, um, and then tap where I want this to be sharp. And again, it does it does a little bit of a blur on the outside there. It's not you know, it's, it's fine. I want them more accurate for this. And then that's how. A little too much, so I'm just going to tone down the opacity a little bit so the original shows through a little bit here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think again, I think for the most part, um, this was to kind of start from a sphere and to get to this little part. It was, you know, again, it, that was the challenge is to kind of find a way to uh, just to kind of come up with something that was that was interesting. All right, let's turn this light off so you can see. Um, but I think in the end, at the very least, it it turned into it turned into something. It was a it was a character that didn't exist before. It does now. Um, it's a little man, yeah. That's for some scale. Um, and that's but this, again, this is I just I think sometimes stuff like this is it's just a, it's just a kind of a cool way um, to kind of again to, to kind of force yourself out of the stuff, so especially if you're feeling a little bit like you've been kind of spinning your wheels a little bit. Um, you know, just doing something that really doesn't need to exist really beyond the two hours that you spend on it. Sometimes it's just good to kind of break out of the whole, you know, especially like with us in Discord a lot, you know, a lot of us, myself included, we like to do, um, you know, superhero type stuff and because there's there's so many varieties you can do and so forth. But I think sometimes you can get kind of like stuck, okay, got to build, build the body, got to get the muscles, got to get the so And it can kind of feel like you're just doing a lot of the same, you know? And for me, um, sometimes you just want to try something different, just, just to kind of like, stretch your muscles a little bit and then you know and see what you come up with and again even like this is not this is not amazing this is this is this is it's it's a sphere that turned into something it's, it's just a face but you know again i put myself in a situation where i had to kind of i had to kind of find my way to the end and that's um finding a way to an end is sometimes just as important as whether or not the end is worth finding um so again i i like doing this just because i feel like i kind of force myself to to be a little bit more um self-reliant i guess in terms of making stuff um whether like i said and over time I think the more i do it i think the, the more confident i get that the process will lead to something interesting this is definitely showing some rust um it's fine it's it's a it's a sculpt that was a sphere and now it's a slightly pointier sphere um but again i just i would just suggest that it's something that, that especially if you start feeling like you, you you're kind of treading water you know just put yourself in a situation where you say at the end of this i'm going to create something and finish it um and at the end i'll have a character that i made from nothing it may not go anywhere but i had to kind of use some tools i don't use all the time you know and then that that kind of confidence and your ability to kind of you know try something from scratch and get there can find its way into your other sculpts you know at, at least for me anyway um so again thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight i hope this was worth worth the time. Um, I, again, I, I have a lot of fun doing this because I feel like just having something at the end of it is an accomplishment. Um, but again, I hope that, that was, uh, hopefully it wasn't too, too dull to watch. It was a lot of fun to do. So hopefully it was fun to, fun to watch guys. Thank you all so much. Jamie, Ram, Orlando, Angry Monday. Thank you all so much, uh, for hanging out with me. 3d manic, everyone. Um, hopefully this was worth it. I have no idea about what's happening next with regard to with Ian, if he's, if he's, if he's, uh, streaming on some there or not, I don't know. Um, but I'll be back on Thursday, and uh, I think what I'm going to be doing is, in case in case you're interested, I, I I have a real I have a real oh Andrew, thank you again, thank you so much. Um, 
I what I what I'm doing next is I'm, I'm going to be actually doing a little bit of a, of a rig, but I, I want to show you what I'm rigging because it's not just a normal character. Um, I think I might have it here. I might not. I don't. I apologize in advance. Um, but there is a uh, I, I made a long while back, right? I made um, a, a updated version of uh, so, uh, the Space Invaders uh, aliens, those little eight bit aliens that, that you saw. Um, and one of the, what I did for them was again, I, I just I created updated versions of them. I can show you an example of what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is is rig it because I, I, I kind of like the way one of the, the characters came out. And I'm going to show you what the picture looks like. Um, and again, hopefully this is the reason why I'm showing is because I hopefully this is interesting to you. Um, and I'm going to find it any minute now. I'm on my way, guys. Here, okay, here it is. So this is, and this is, I said it, and Tony and Bradley really helped me with the texturing. So this is kind of like, a, this is like one of those little, the little crab guys from, um, from Space Invaders, right? I, I, I sculpted kind of, a, you know, a little bit more of a, of a exaggerated version of them. Um, and uh, that was kind of what I want to, I want to rig, right? And so that's where I'm headed next. I want to kind of create... Like, I want to create a, a facial rig for it. And I don't know if that's what I'm going to be doing it on the stream next time. Here's my render of it, yeah. Um, but I think it'd be kind of cool to make it a, an expressive little guy. Um, look at this, Mario Cat showing up. Thank you so much for showing up, Mario Cat. Nice to see you. Um, oh, you missed a nice show. That's okay. You, 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 it's okay. I, you know, I have a feeling that we'll speak again. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you again all, all for hanging out with me tonight. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it was worth your time um next week i think that i'll be rigging that, that little character i think it'll be kind of fun to do and kind of talk about some ways to make it look interesting and give it the ability to speak um that's my plan so hopefully i'll see you then again thanks again for hanging out with me tonight i'll see you guys later